Hello, Bob Gold here. This is for Stephen Berkowitz, Rabbi Stephen Berkowitz, someone I've known since undergraduate school and who is a lifelong best friend. Steve, I have so many wonderful things to say about you. First, how many people can say their best friend is a rabbi? How many people or a priest or, or anyone else like that? It's a, it's a very unique relationship. And I'm so glad that last year we were able to go on our mancation in Portugal. You've been through so much and your life is so unique. I, you live a world that's so different from anything I know. You're a practicing rabbi in Paris, in Barcelona, in other cities around France and Switzerland. And I just feel like you live this international sense of community and you feel things at a level and see things and have wisdom so much beyond anything I could hope. And so you are my friend, you are my teacher, and most of all, you remind me of my humanity and your own. So these are words to lift by. And Steve, I hope you enjoy it. I found a phenomenal young poet in Asheville, North Carolina, and he's online right now. Ryan Ashley, I know I've been talking about Steve to you. Have you finished the poem yet? Bob Gold, hello, um, and Steve, of course, hello. I am just finishing up the poem. It's still locked and loaded here in my 100-year-old vintage typewriter, a Smith and Corona, uh, oddly enough, coincidentally enough, the name. Um, let's just finish up this poem, and then I'll give it, give it a look, and then we can read it. So. All right, Rabbi, here is what your poem looks like. All the beautiful, unperfected, imperfected fonts that a typewriter gives. I took everything that Bob had to say, shared a little bit about your life, your evolution. And what I have is a poem for Rabbi Stephen, inspired by Bob Gold. Lovely undertones leave your lips, the sweet kiss of French diction capturing your speak with Mediterranean, Mediterranean elegance. Seek the higher form, leaving Paris for Spanish landscapes. Take a son of gold, welcome him to being a man. Stand truthful to your face, to your faith. Run, swim, move, heal, work, then take a break for good. Retire with, with much desire, reflecting it all in Isabel's eyes. A sigh for the notion that he can, cannot cross oceans to go on mancations with his dear friend. He sends his love in poetic form, reminding you that he will care about you till the very end. Steve, I think that sums up my dear love for you and your very warm, beautiful, talented, incredibly smart wife, Isabel. May you both Stay safe, healthy, and enjoy the days we have together. And until COVID allows us to be together again, Ryan? I hope everybody out there is finding their own words to live by. And if for some reason you can't, I can help you with that. Stay safe and stay beautiful, my friends.